Yes. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Swiftlearn, India's most sincere learning destination for class 1 to 10. In Swiftlearn, we have 100% live and interactive classes. Personalized attention will be given to each and every student where the maximum batch size is 6 students. A dedicated academic mentor will be allotted to track and work on your progress. We also cover syllabus as per your school examination schedule. And also we handle custom requests. A key feature is we provide you with a detailed progress report card on a monthly basis. Students can take Swift Learn Academic Test Series, a scholarship exam conducted every Sunday from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Students can take unlimited practice tests. Now all these practice tests are subjective as well as objective for your school examination. So students, those are new, book a free trial class today. Also don't subscribe, don't forget to subscribe our channel. Hit the bell icon so that you will never miss any update. I'm Shashank sir and today I'll be teaching you the topic trigonometric ratios of standard angle. So this will be the first topic. So objectives of today's class will be we are going to recall trigonometric ratios. We are going to find the value of trigonometrical ratios of 30 degrees and 60 degrees. We're going to explain how to calculate the values of trigonometrical ratios for angle 45 degrees. And we will try to solve some trigonometric equations. So all these things we are going to study in our today's class. So let's recall about the trigonometry. Trigonometry was invested, invented. Okay, because it a need was arose in astronomy. Since then, astronomers have used it for instance to calculate distance from the earth to the planets and stars. Okay, so let's recall trigonometrical ratios, the ratios between the length of pair of any two sides of a right angle triangle is called trigonometrical ratios. The three sides of a right angle triangle give six trigonometrical ratios, which are sine, cosine, tangent, cotangent, secant, and cosecant. In short, these are written as sine, cos, tan, cosec, and cosec, respectively. Yes. Now, tricks for trigonometrical ratios how to remember? Some people have, yes, curly brown hair turns permanently black. Okay, so sin is perpendicular by hypotenuse, cos is base by hypotenuse and tan is perpendicular by base. And cot is inverse of tan which is base by perpendicular. Cosec theta is inverse of sin which is hypotenuse by perpendicular. And sec is inverse of cos which is hypotenuse by base. Now let's find the values of trigonometrical ratios of angle 30 and 60 degree. Now, to that, let us consider an equilateral triangle of side 2A. Okay, A can be any constant, any number, okay, except 0. Okay, so AD is perpendicular to BC. Yes, so in equilateral triangle, all the angles are equal and the perpendicular bisects the equilateral triangle, the base of the equilateral triangle in two equal parts. So BD will be A. Yes and uh, bd is a and in triangle a b d using pythagoras theorem okay so 4 a square minus a square you'll get 3 a square and take square root of that you get a d as square root 3 by a now sine 60 sine of angle b which is 60 sine 60 is perpendicular by hypotenuse so a d by a b which is root 3a by 2a, a, a gets cancelled, we get root 3 by 2. Now, sin 30, sin of angle A is BD, the perpendicular by hypotenuse, which is a by 2a, a, a gets cancelled, we have 1 by 2. So, sin 30 is half. Got this? Now, similarly, cos 60, cos 60 is BD by AB, BD is A, so A by 2a is 1 by 2. And cos 30 is AD by AB root 3A by 2A, which is root 3 by 2. Tan 60 perpendicular by base, which is root 3A by A, which is root 3. A, A gets cancelled, you have root 3. And tan 30, how much is tan 30? Tan 30 is 
perpendicular by base this is a this is square root 3 by a so a a gets cancelled we have 1 by square root 3 which is the value of tan after finding the values of sine cos tan you can find the value of cosec sec and cot okay let's find the trigonometrical angles for 45 okay for 45 you need to take an isosceles triangle okay let let us consider a right angled tri isosceles triangle whose equal sides are a yes so the hypotenuse can be found using the pythagoras theorem a square plus a square is 2 a square square root of that is square root 2 a yes now sine 45 sine 45 is perpendicular by hypotenuse which is cb by ac okay so we have a by square root 2 a a, a gets cancelled we have 1 by square root 2 cos 45 okay cos 45 is given by base by hypotenuse which is ab by ac a by square root 2 a a, a gets cancelled we have 1 by square root 2 and tan 45 perpendicular by hypotenuse a by a will give you 1 so the value of tan 45 is 1 okay so trigonometric ratios of standard angles yes so about 90 and 60 how to calculate them that you will learn in the higher classes okay for now we have showed you how to calculate the values for 30 45 60 how to calculate for the values of 0 and 90 you will learn in the 11th grade okay so till then you remember sine 0 is 0 sine 30 is half sine 45 is 1 by root 2 sine 60 is root 3 by 2 sine 90 is 1 that's all you need to remember now cos 0 is this 1 now write the same values in the reverse order 1 square root 3 by 2 1 by square root 2 1 by 2 and 0 now sine by cos is 0 okay so sine by cos is tan 0 by 1 is 0 this by this is 1 by square root 3 square root 1 by square root 2 by 1 by square root 2 is 1 root 3 by 2 divided by 1 by 2 is square root 3 and 1 by 0 is infinite or not defined now, since you got this angles take inverse of them you will get cosec second cot yes so remember the sine angles so everything else you can remember it is observed that as angle of increases from 0 to 90 the value of sine increases okay and the value of cos decreases from 1 to 2 okay tan increases from 0 to infinity okay yes now observation okay the second observation if x and y are same to 45 degrees or x plus y is 90 then sin x is equal to cos y okay tan x is equal to cot y sec, sec x is equal to cosec y for example okay only for this one value okay if x is equal to y not for other values so sin 45 and cos 45 are same okay which is 45 and sin 30 are same as cos 60 okay so the value is half so x plus y is and 90 degrees yes whatever be the measure of angle a this all three equations always hold good which is sin square a plus cos square a is always equal to 1 sec square a minus tan square a is 1 and cosec square a minus cot square a is also equal to 1 except for the value of um, see the value of a should be greater than 0 okay because tan 0 how much is tan 0 tan 0 is um, 0 by 1 is 0 what about tan 90 tan 90 is infinity okay so tan 90 is 1 by 0 yes so sin 0 is 0 cos 0 is 1 so 0 by 1 is 0 tan 0 is 0 sin 90 is 1 cos 90 is 0 tan 90 is infinite okay so the value of this okay should if it is 90 degrees it may be something different 
okay so we need to check that now if a is equal to 30 degrees then the find the value of sine square a plus cos square a yes so sine square 30 plus cos square 30 is equal to sine 30 is half half square is 1 by 4 guys yes half square is half square plus cos 30 root 3 by 2 whole square 1 by 2 whole square is 1 by 4 root 3 by 2 whole square is 3 by 4 add them you get 4 by 4 which is equal to 1 yes this is the answer okay now points to remember in mind sin a plus b is not equal to sin a plus sin b cos a plus b is not cos a plus con b tan a plus b is not tan a plus tan b sin a minus b is not sin a minus sin b this has some different values we will discuss them okay so solving some trigonometrical ratios okay so sin square 30 minus 2 cos square 60 okay plus 3 tan square 45 find the value of this equation okay so sin square 30 is sin 30 is 1 by 2 square of that minus 2 cos cube of 60 cos 60 is also half so cube of half plus 3 tan 45 is 1 square of 1 is 1 so 1 by 4 minus 2 by 8 2 by 8 is uh, 2 by 8 2 ones are 2 2 fours are 8 it is again 1 by 4 plus 3 this is 0 so this is equal to 3 is the answer sin 30 minus sin 90 plus 2 cos 0 divided by tan 30 into tan 60 this equation is equal to sin 30 value is half minus sin 90 value is 1 plus 2 cos 0 value is 1 so 2 into 1 is 2 tan 30 is 1 by square root 3 tan 60 is square root 3 this this cancels so this is 1 by 1 so now we are left with 1 half minus 1 plus 2 minus 1 plus 2 is 1 so it is 3 by 2 or 1.5 or 1 integer 1 by 5 any of the values are correct okay all three are same values okay yes so this minus needs to be corrected it is 3 by 2 guys okay if x is equal to 15 then find the values of 8 sin 2x into cos 4x into sin 3x Okay, x is equal to 15 wherever x is there substitute 15 so 8 sin 2x is 30 into cos 15 forza is 60 into sin 15 6 is 90 okay now 8 into half into half into 1 okay which is equal to 2 because 8 by 4 is 2 2 is the answer prove that sine 2 into 30 is equal to tan 2 into 30 plus 1 plus tan square 30 2 into 30 is 60 sine 60 how much is sine 60 sine 60 is root 3 by 2 okay so tan 30 2 times tan 30 tan 30 is 1 by square root 3 divided by 1 plus tan square 30 1 by root 3 square is 1 by 3 okay now take lcm this is 3 3 plus 1 is 4 so it is 2 by square root 3 divided by 4 by 3 now take the inverse of this we have 2 by square root 3 into 3 by 4 square root 3 this cancels we have square root 3 2 ones are 2 2 2 are 4 we have square root 3 by 2 so lhs is equal to rhs hence root find the value of this okay the scientist is asking you a question so tan square 30 1 by square root 3 
उसका स्क्वायर प्लस टैन स्क्वायर फोर्टी फाइव टैन फोर्टी फाइव इज वन उसका स्क्वायर टैन स्क्वायर सिक्सटी स्क्वायर रूट थ्री उसका स्क्वायर सो वी हैव वन बाय स्क्वायर रूट थ्री इंटू वन बाय स्क्वायर रूट थ्री इज वन बाय थ्री प्लस वन प्लस थ्री टेक द एलसीएम एस थ्री सो दिस इज थ्री बाय थ्री दिस इज नाइन बाय थ्री एंड दम ऑल वी गेट थर्टीन बाय थ्री थर्टीन बाय थ्री इज द answer or you can also divide it by 3 and find the answer in decimals yes so did you know read this okay so question of the day can trigonometry be used in everyday life yes we use in everyday life in many engineering problems and solving astronomical related problems in video games etc so what have we learned so far we have learned recall trigonometric ratios okay we have learned trigonometrical ratios of 30 60 angle how to calculate them how to calculate the trigonometrical ratios for 45 degrees and solve some problems yes so let us solve this extra time questions find the value of tan 30 into tan 60 tan 30 is 1 by square root 3 tan 60 is square root 3 so this this cancels the value is 1 Find the value of sine square 30 plus cos square 30 plus cos square 45. This value will be 2. Okay. See, I am telling this. Sine square 30. Sine 30 is half. Square of that is 1 by 4. See, I am going to write it directly now. 1 by 4 plus cos 30 is square root 3 by 2. Square of that is 3 by 4. Cot 45 is 1. So 1 square is 1. So one by four plus three by four is four by four. Four by four is one. One plus one is two. Okay. The next one, guys. Three cosec square sixty. Cosec is inverse of sine. Okay. Sine sixty is uh, root three by two. So it is two by square root three square. So four by three minus two. Cot square thirty. Tan 30 is 1 by square root 3. So cot 30 is square root 3. Square of that is 3. Plus sec square 45. Cos 45 is 1 by square root 2. So it is square root 2. Square of that is 2. Solve this equation. You will get the answer. 3 3 cancels. So 4 minus 6 plus 2. 6 minus 6 is 0. Prove that. So we got 0. Hence is equal to RHS. Hence proved. Okay, now the next one. ABC is an isosceles right angle triangle. Assuming AB is equal to BC is equal to X. Find the value of each of the following trigonometrical ratios. Okay, they have asked to find cos 45 only. So cos 45 using Pythagoras theorem, find the value of AC x square plus x square two x square square root of that is square root two x. Now this is 45 degrees. Cos 45 is equal to BC by AC, which is x by square root 2x. X x cancel. We have 1 by square root 2. Okay, so these are all the answers. Yes. So that's all for today, guys. Okay, students, those are new, please subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell icon so that you can never miss any update. I'm Shashank sir, signing off. That's all for today.